What is good, fight fans? This is Ashley's Corner. I woke up with something on my spirit, okay? So, uh, I'm going to go on and just let it out, man. I'm just going to go on and say it, all right? This is Bob Arum. Everybody that knows anything about boxing knows who Bob Arum is. He survived the plagues. Like, no, he survived everything. He's had, he's, he's had a lot of fighters, good, bad, in between, great legendary you know he was up against other great promoters and i'm just going to show you pictures of just a tiny bit of bob arum you know what i mean and all the people he's worked with all right and i just got some questions man i just got some questions you know is bud the first pound for pound undisputed fighter ever that his promoter says is milking his ass dry the first fighter to put Bob Arum in the poorhouse? Is he the first fighter to bring Bob portfolio down? Just to bring his whole shit down, his property tax, everything. His suits aren't in the way they're supposed to be. Is it, is he, is Bob, is Bob, is Terrence Bud Crawford the first one, pound for pound, undisputed? Is he the first one to bring Bob to his britches? To bring him down to his knees? Is he the first one? Like, damn, I mean, lost his retirement money <laughs> on a winning fighter. You know? How did all of that happen to Bob and a winning fighter? He's a winning fighter. He wins. He was pound for pound. He's undisputed. How? Why, bud? You know? How did that shit happen? You know, he's a winning fighter bringing down a powerhouse like Bob Arum. Powerhouse like like top rank, you know. He's seen money come and go. He's seen a whole lot of fighters. He's seen fighters a lot, a whole lot better than Terrence Crawford. Fighter, He's seen fighters a whole lot worse than Terrence Crawford. He signed them all. He's worked with them all. He's made money with them all. He's made profit. He turned them rich. All of them. Most of them, well, good ones anyway. For mo for the most part, he put money in their pockets. Even though he was a bit of a thief, he put money in their pockets. You know? How come I never seen Bob hold Terrence Crawford the way he was holding Pacquiao? Like I just I just haven't seen it. You know, he holds he holds Lomachenko. You know, t when it comes to Terrence Crawford, why? Like how? How did this come to be? Okay. And none of those fighters did Bob ever accuse of being so boring he lose money on them. Okay, and if he didn't say boring, what exactly is it? What did Bob say? What exactly is it? What's the reason why he's losing money on this man? All right, because he has no personality, because he don't promote himself? I don't understand. There's so many, uh, so many other fighters that this man has worked with back at a time where there was no social media, no inter no internet. Why do Bob break? Why, like, how come he don't break even? Why is it that he loses money? Why can't he profit off Terrence Bud Crawford? This is Bob Arum we're talking about here, yo. All right, this Bob Arum. Look at the picture. Who's in the background of that picture? That's in the picture frame. This is the Bob Arum I'm talking about. Listen, man. Bob Arum knows how to make money, yo. He knows how to make money. He knows what needs to be done. But he won't do it. All right? Why isn't he doing what he needs to do to put money back in his pro back in his pocket to gain back his losses? Okay? To account for any loss that Bob has done. I mean that Bob has from promoting Crawford, you know what I'm saying? He should put him in those big fights. That way, you know, he can um recap all of his losses, you know. Bob is not doing it, yo. The reason why he's not doing it is because Bob knows that Bud loses the spence. And he can't stomach Bud versus Porter. He can't do it, all right? Bob is not a dummy. The man ain't dumb. Look at him. Look at the picture. He ain't dumb. He knows talent when he see it. He knows how to work with talent. But why is Bud... The only one. Why is he the first one to fuck his paper up? To fuck Bob's paper up, yo. How is it? He knows he has a fighter 
that um, don't want to fight those names. He don't, Bud don't want to fight Porter. He don't want to fight Spence. He knows he got a fighter that don't want to fight them names. And he wants to keep the uh, zero on Bud's losses. He don't want Bud to lose. And Bob would rather Bud lose to another top ranked fighter. He don't want him to lose to Porter or Spence. If anything, he going to feed him to another top ranked fighter, keep the money in house and just move it around to somebody that he can better promote, I guess, supposedly, allegedly over anyone else, you know? So Bob is not going to help make those fights. Hell, you know what I'm saying? He'd rather sit Bud on the shelf and let him fight mean, meaningless fights. While he tried to recap, re, recoup um, some of his losses that he, you know what I'm saying? He can try to get that money back from fighters he already have in his stable on top ranks. Now, now if Ortiz is next, because I know he took the number one spot from Sean Porter for the WBO at Well to Eight. Bud will beat Ortiz, okay? Ortiz is not good enough to uh to beat Bud. All right, it's not going. And, and I know that's probably something he's trying because he's trying to keep the money in house. He's trying to keep it in top rank. But the reason why these fights happen is because nobody wants these fights but Earl Spence, Earl Spence team, and Earl Spence fans. That's it. I don't think Bud is his own boss. I don't think he can fight whoever he wants to. You know, I don't think that. You know, I think Bob. And his manager, Bo Mack, has a lot to do with it. And I don't care what neither one of them say, but, but like Bo Mack and freaking Bob knows that Earl Spence is not the fight, bro. It's not. You're not going to beat Earl Spence. And they can't stomach Porter. That's why this fight isn't being made, both of them, Bo Mack and Bob. When it comes to Bud, if y'all disagree, and Bud does is the boss, and he makes his own fights, and he does all of that shit, then Bob, then but then Bud himself knows that he can't beat neither one of the motherfuckers. Like, either way you slice it, it don't make sense. And Bo Mac just came out saying that he told, he told Bob, he told uh Bud not to sign the contract to fight Pacquiao. He told him that, and he did it. Like this shit, is, come on, bro. They are just out here to get the bare minimum. It seems like Bud, hold up. It seems like Bud only wanted to to do enough. He wanted to do the bare minimum to be in the Hall of Fame. That's that's because that's all he talks. He brought it up. He talks about it. So that's what he wanted to do. So he wanted to plan to be undisputed. And what did he do? He took the easiest route, in my opinion, period. When you sign top rank, it's the easiest route. Because top rank has his own WB, WBO belt, has his own sorry-ass fucking top 15, has, and they're the sorriest champion in damn near every fucking division. So you take the you take the, easy, the easier route, period, by signing the top rank. And then you go through top rank you don't fight all everybody that is there to fight you know what i'm saying you fought some names i've never looked at anybody looked at terrence crawford versus anybody and was like oh terrence gonna watch out for it no it's not it hasn't been one person that i've seen him fight that i was like terrence is gonna lose or this is a 50 50 fight all of his fights has been easy i was never i never said any one of his fights was going to be hard felix diaz and all them people at 140 that people was oh i don't know i was like that shit's easy i knew all of his shit was going to be easy and it was. So the people that think he's eons and levels above somebody, then don't y'all want to see him fight somebody on his level? Don't y'all want to see somebody that could give him some type of issue? I hear people say, oh, well, you just want to see him fight somebody he, he that is going to, that he can lose against. And those same people would turn around and say that they hate to watch boring fights where one person j is definitely go is going to be the victor. Y'all need to keep the same energy when it comes to Terrence Crawford. Seriously, like the guy, the man ain't doing shit. His promoter say he ain't shit. And Bo Mac, it seems like he just, he, he does got his hand in his pocket. God damn it. How you going to tell him not to sign the motherfucker? And the person, yo, Manny Pacquiao don't fight unless he get like $20 million. If he signed it, how the fuck are you going to be sketchy about where they're going to get the money to pay your small ass check? It's not small as millions, but it ain't 20. 
if, even if you getting ten million dollars, if you know Manny Pacquiao signed for twenty, how are you gonna be like? Oh, I don't know where the money coming from, bro. You don't want the, f you don't want the fight. It's a way of life for you right now. God damn, I can speak all day on this. This is shame. I'm kind of glad that people came around and seen how it, how it was, but it was a shame back then when everybody just jumped off, jump ship, and just called Earl the Ducker. Like this shit is. I think I've been the only person solid besides like. Probably three or four other people since jump. Since jump. Like, how the fuck is Earl taking the easy way out and he's the one that's not signed top rank? And then when everybody was bit was bitching about top rank and all of that shit and saying he shouldn't resign and he resigned it, everybody should have jumped just jump strip jump ship just like you did to Earl. But that did that shit didn't happen. I've been saying forever his whole purpose in life is just to stop Earl from being undisputed i said that this whole time this, his whole purpose at 147 is just to stop earl from being undisputed and y'all y'all hate on floyd talking about oh well you don't want nobody to be better than him this motherfucker is doing some <laughs> it's doing the same shit <laughs> he don't want nobody to surpass him so he don't want earl spence to get undisputed at 147 is straight female shit yo He's blatantly doing it and everybody just acting like they just don't want it. They putting a blind eye to the shit. This man then fucking promoted major talent, legendary fighters and all of that. Ain't none of them sucked them dry but Bud. Bud is the most boring motherfucker. No personality having. Nobody understand where your Oklahoma. Nobody gives a fuck. Okay. You can't tell me that he's the bee's knees. You can't tell me that he want these fights. This motherfucker is a waste of fucking time, energy, and space. All right? Top rank is fucking ruining the sport of boxing. <laughs> Tio Fimo is ruining the sport. Ryan Garcia ruining the sport. Terrence Bud Crawford is ruining the sport. Always like and subscribe to the channel. I feel better now. Peace.